girlfriend dumped me after my building security lied and told her I was cheating. My, 21M, building security has informed my GF, 20F, that I am cheating. Hi y'all. This is such a strange situation to be in but now that I am, I need your advice on how to deal with it. Basically, my girlfriend and I have been dating for two years and a half. We meet at a party and hit off extremely well. We were friends for a bit but we clearly had feelings for one another so we ended up dating. She gets a bit jealous whenever I talk to girls because she has first-hand experience with how flirtatious I am. So, naturally, she's a bit iffy about me hanging out with girls. The thing is, I am a naturally flirtatious guy. I don't do this intentionally but I am told that I am very attentive and that makes girls go head over heels for me. So a lot of times I learn later on that my friends have been trying to get with me. Usually I brush it off and establish strong boundaries on our friendship through my actions. I make sure not to let anything happen. I also want to put emphasis on the fact that when I commit to a relationship, I mean it. I quite frankly think cheaters are pathetic and cowardly. If I wanted to date multiple women, I would. However, I love my girlfriend and absolutely enjoy committing my time and love for her. Anyways, to the issue, I bring my girlfriend to my place often to hang out and whatever. Therefore, my concierge is quite familiar with her. Thing is, recently my really good friend moved to my city and we've been catching up quite a bit. I usually don't have my friends over at my place but since we are close I didn't mind hanging out with her at mine. Of course, I let my girlfriend know whenever she's over. However, around 30 minutes ago, my girlfriend storms into my place and starts going crazy accusing me of cheating and the sort. I have no clue what's up because last I checked, I wasn't cheating. Anyways she goes off about how the concierge told her, everything and how I am apparently effing me friend and on and on about whatever. She ended up leaving and said we were done. To be honest, I was quite shocked to do anything and I was proper curious as to why she thought I was cheating despite me explicitly telling her all the times that my friend was going to be over. So I go downstairs and confront the concierge. He tells me that apparently he saw me and my friend being flirty and that when I came down to drop her to her Uber, she was giggling and laughing and being touchy, therefore he felt something was off. These were his exact words BTW. So naturally I got pissed and I told him that it was none of his business and that he crossed a huge line. Now the reason why I write here is because I have no clue what to do. There are so many things racing in my mind and I'm honestly confused. How should I even speak to my girlfriend? What should I do about the concierge? Any advice? More info, I think I'll message her to meet up. I feel this is something better dealt with in person than anything. I'll tell her he was talking out of his ass and had no idea what was really going on, that I'm sorry she's hurt, but that I didn't and wouldn't cheat on her, and hope she'll trust me more than a guy she barely knows and will give me a chance to talk it over. I'm not sure whether or not to involve my friend in this. I'm on the fence whether that would help or just add insult to injury. Now, to address my flirtiness, I use the word flirt incorrectly. I've been told I come across as flirting. Whenever I ask how I can stop coming across as a flirt, I get these responses. You pay attention, you listen well, you look at the girl in the eyes, etc. So what do you guys reckon I do? Stop all these behaviors? I don't give romantic attention to any woman, but if they find it that way, it's my fault, really? If a guy thought a girl was trying to woo him when she was being friendly, everyone would carry pitchforks and bully the guy. Why is it so that when some girls think that me actually valuing what they say is an indication that I want to fuck them? And then everyone here finds me to be a guy toying with their feelings? Finally, about leaving her, as easy as that comes out, it's hurting my gut quite a bit thinking about it. I mean, everyone has flaws, but despite this, she's one of the most caring people I have ever been with. Anyway, for now, I have no clue what to do since I'm blocked. I'm not sure if I should go through our mutual friends. Edit, wow I didn't expect so many comments and I really appreciate all of you for taking your time and giving me advice. I felt quite trash last night and I decided to sleep. I'm not sure what I'm going to do next. I think the effects of last night are raining down on me because I feel quite sick to the stomach. All feels like an elaborate nightmare. For now I'm going to go through the advice everyone has so kindly offered and piece together what I should do. Update, it seems like she's told a lot of our mutual friends that I cheated on her. A lot of people are messaging me and some of the message are scary because they're quite hurtful. Others are curious about my side of the story. I honestly don't know what on earth to do. I feel like trying to explain myself will just fall flat. I'm panicking quite a bit any advice? Update, my, 21M, building security has informed my GF, 20F, that I am cheating. Hi everyone. I have another couple of questions because things have gotten a lot worse since. So she blocked me on everything after I messaged her to meet up so we can talk about it. Then she went on to tell all our friends and everyone seems to know. A lot of them have messaged me with some horrible stuff and it feels like someone punched my gut. I mean FFS I didn't even cheat and it makes me want to cry when people just assume I am a cheater. I have always thought cheaters were the lowest of the low and being branded one hurts a lot. Nonetheless, some of my friends were curious about my side of the story so I decided to have them over and tell them about it all. My friend who was caught cheating with me is also going to be coming over. Any advice on how to approach this because I don't want it to be simply my words against hers. I'm also not sure what to do about the concierge. This dude has single-handedly ruined my life. I mean I have lost a lot of hope in saving my relationships and just wish this could all end and become normal. 
I really don't think getting him fired will do any justice. A few of you have recommended suing him for slander. I haven't brought this situation up to my parents but I will do if nothing improves. What do y'all think? Also, thanks a lot to those who have been gentle and empathetic of my situation. This would be extremely depressing to go through alone. I feel a lot less lonely with your support and it means incredibly to me. I will definitely find a way to repay those few and have you know that you have me if, God forbid, anything happens in your own lives. Final update, my, 21M, building security has informed my GF, 20F, that I am cheating. Hey everyone. This is going to be my last update since I don't have any more questions for y'all and it's only fair to give you guys one since you've literally been through this with me. So basically my friends came over and supported me quite a bit. We agreed on some steps I should take next. 1. Block her and all her friends from my social media. All in all, just avoid that friends group. 2. Do not respond to any social media posts because it will just add fuel to the flame. 3. Get in contact with lawyers because one of my friend's dad, a lawyer, said that I have a strong case and I should pursue it further demand an apology letter from the concierge. I've already spoken to my parents and they have got me in touch with their friends who are lawyers, so I will take it, from there. 4. Move out of my building, even if the concierge is fired. My lease will be ending soon so it's not too bad. Apart from that, my friends just supported me and reassured me that I didn't do anything wrong. Since every single one of you was attacking me for being a flirt, I asked them for their honest opinion on me being a flirt. Apparently they said they never called me a flirt but they said that they just told me that some girls confided in them that they thought I was being flirty. They wrote that up to the girls reading into things and not me. Nonetheless, I learned I wasn't 100% correct in the way I approached my friendships. A few of my friends brought up some of the points you guys mentioned in the posts and said that you guys were spot on about them. They offered me suggestions on how to work on these points. Hopefully I won't have any more girlfriends leaving me because of my concierges in the future lol. I haven't heard back from my ex yet. Her friends are just spamming me with shit but I haven't replied to them. I don't think I will and I'll just end up blocking them. I'd like to speak to my ex in the future to get some closure but it doesn't seem like it will be anytime soon. I'm still in shock because we've been together for nearly 3 years. That's nearly all of my university life which is weird to think about. I thought we were a perfect couple, but I guess not. I also have to say I got quite arrogant slash cocky in the past thread and I am sorry about that. I was just ticked off and overwhelmed so that was my defense mechanism. I didn't mean to flex that I've been with many girls or whatever but I got a bit annoyed by people constantly saying that I intentionally flirted to get attention from them. It's one thing to brush off a comment or two but when it gets to 50 plus comments saying the same thing, one starts getting defensive. Regardless, I should have kept my composure and I shouldn't have reacted badly. After all, it was my idea to seek advice from you all. Last night was a bit weird though. My friends and I went out to a bar and got a bit drunk. On my way home, my cheating friend, she's going to kill me for calling her that Lamau, offered to sleep over to be there for me. Well things happened. Full circle I guess lol. However, I told her it was going to be a one-time thing because I don't want to rebound into a relationship or anything. I'm thinking of living the single life now. Going to hit the gym harder than ever, destroy school and get into a master's program in London. Move on and just focus on me. No more girls for a while. Also I'm not sure if I will be allowed to update on the concierge situation since we're taking legal action. If I am allowed to, maybe I'll post what happened. Not too sure though. All in all, I appreciate everyone's response. Even those who were quite harsh to me, I understand that you had my best interests at heart and I really appreciate that. Not sure when I'll be ready to date again but I will take my time because from what I've read, I have a lot to learn. Thanks once again to everyone. Edit, you lot are right about me being a dickhead for sleeping with my friend. I accept that. It just happened and that was that. Sorry to disappoint y'all. Edit 2, I think I've said enough. See you flip on side.